So this is a review of the new Aquachu Carif. It's a reverse osmosis water purifier. Um, it comes with the purifier itself. It's got a water tank in the back where you fill tap water. And it comes with this um, approximately two liter glass carif. Uh, they're very proud that it's a borosilicate glass uh, it's very lightweight and supposedly very strong. Kind of feels like plastic, although it is glass. So right now, the carafe is empty. I just uh, finished drinking the last of the water that was in here. And the tap water tank, you can see, is full. So I'm going to slide the carafe onto the unit now. As you can see, uh, it starts pumping water through the purifier. There's a light here that says it's purifying and water will start to filter into the glass carafe. The process takes about 12 to 15 minutes, they say. So we'll see when this is done. So as the unit's running, just wanted to show a quick look at the TDS of my tap water, right? I've got this TDS meter. So I place it in the tap water tank and see what we've got. Four hundred and fourteen ppm in TDS. So very, very high in minerals, very hard water. And I'll show you what we get after the purifier runs. And as you can see, a filtration cycle just finished. The carif is uh, almost full. The tap water tank in the rear is now about 25% full. And the LED indicator says to empty and refill the tap tank. So let's get a quick test of how the of how much TDS is in the purified water. So I've taken the lid off the carafe. Uh, the lid is plastic. And let's see what we've got here. Showing about 33, 31 TDS. So that's excellent. Amazing to go from over 400 to about 31. Interesting thing about this AquaTrue Carif unit is that there's two of these float devices. One's in the glass carafe and one's in the tap water tank. And the unit is able to sense where this float is to know when it, it should sh to stop purifying. Here's a look at the tap water tank. You can see the float in there. Um, once the water drops below a certain point, that float sinks and the unit knows to stop purifying. And just for fun, we're gonna see the TDS of this now highly concentrated water. It's reading 894 there. So very, very concentrated in minerals. Uh, it's very, very hard water now. Um, you're supposed to empty this tank, which I am going to do, and refill it with fresh tap water. You should never just top this off. Otherwise, the water will be so high in TDS that uh, it's going to potentially damage the unit. So now I've got a full tank of tap water again. Just going to reach behind and place it on the unit. And you'll see when I, once I place it down, that light to empty and refill the tap tank has now shut off. Something interesting that I found about this unit is that, as you can see, now the tap water tank is back full again and the carafe is full 
If I were to now place the carif on the unit, it'll run for about 10 to 20 seconds and stop. I'm not sure how I like that. I'd prefer, I think, to keep the carif off the unit until it's empty. Because otherwise, if you pour out a little of this water in the carif and place the carif back on the unit, it's going to keep running these short cycles, you know, maybe 30 seconds, a minute, and keep topping this off with water from the tap water tank. I'm not really sure how I like that because at times you'll have highly concentrated water uh, in the tap water tank. You know, it'll be half full of, of concentrated water and then filtering short cycles to top this off. I think I prefer to have just one long cycle of filtering a, t a full tank of tap water to fill the carafe. But let me know what you think. If you've got other thoughts on that, anyone who has this unit, what what you do. But I think I'm gonna. I prefer to keep the carafe off the unit until it's empty, and time to filter a full tank again. But otherwise. I'm satisfied with the unit so far. We'll see how it lasts. Thanks for watching.